The 1990s, a lot of things happened in my life in the 1990s. And this is uh, part two of the 1990s, so actually part four of this series. In 1993, I got a new camera. Up until then, I had been using my old uh, VHS-C camcorder that I got in the 1980s. But in 1993, I got one of these Sony 8mm. I had been using half-inch video up until then, VHS or VHS-C, and originally open real half-inch video. But now I switched to these uh, 8mm cassettes. And I think the quality did improve with this advancement in technology. Now we're starting with 1993. The big event in 1993 was a wedding. Linda's sister, Mary Ellen, got married in Nova Scotia. So we flew up to Nova Scotia with some other family members, and uh, we went to the wedding. And before the wedding, though, we went to Halifax. And in Halifax, we went to the Citadel, a uh, military facility, I assume, of some sort. But uh, it was... Uh, we were there too late or something, and we couldn't get in. It was closed. But from outside the Citadel, we did witness a kind of interesting ceremony. Okay. Pull it out. Well, fire. Oh, my God. Oh, look at that three I don't know if I got it. I certainly got it. Yeah. Fire. The next thing we did uh, was go to Chester, Nova Scotia, and that's where the wedding took place. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. and Mrs. <laughs> now, after the wedding, uh, the honeymoon couple disappeared for a while, and uh, we decided to... Uh, take a little trip around Nova Scotia. So we drove up to Cape Breton Island, which is the northernmost part of Nova Scotia, and took a ride on what's called the Cabot Trail. It's a highway that goes all around the island. The first thing that we encountered on the Cabot Trail was this fellow playing the bagpipes. <laughs> What body of water is this? Is this the ocean here? Some kind of, oh, is it, it's Whale Cove. But. <laughs> We're walking up. It's kind it's, of a steep climb back there. We're going to see what's on the other side of this block. Yeah, I think it's the water. Look, I can see the water. Here I am on Cape Breton Island. And then back on the Cabot Trail. We're just driving along here, going to continue up the Cabot Trail. Looking back on the Cabot Trail, down towards Cheddar Camp, where we just came from. And along the, the Cabot Trail, we came to this uh, state park uh, that looked interesting, and there was something called the Skyline Trail. We're walking down the Skyline Trail, and here comes Mrs. Herring. <laughs> okay, we're looking down at the valley down there and the Cabot Trail, and over here to these rocky cliffs. And lo and behold, there's a figure up there standing proudly atop. There she is! Here I am! And after we saw the, uh, the view from the trail, we walked back on the trail and we encountered something rather interesting on the uh, walk back. Now up in Cape Breton Island, we stayed at a place in a, a, a town called Dingwall, and we had a nice cabin there right on the, on the water. And we shared that cabin with the honeymoon couple, Curran and Mary Ellen. 
Even though they were on their honeymoon, they didn't mind having us with them uh, for a couple of nights anyway. There's the surf. Nobody's swimming. But there's the happy couple strolling together along life's beach. There was a uh, code name for the wedding, and it was called Operation Square Knot. Operation Square Knot! Here we go! <laughs> now, while we were up there in Cape Breton Island, we drove up to Meat Cove, like, I think is the, high, the most northern part of uh, Cape Breton Island. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there we are. There's the wife <laughs> standing on the near the edge of wearing her Kauai T-shirt. There we are at the northern tip of Nova Scotia, Cape Breton Island. There's a flag in the background. Flag, got the flag. I don't see any meat up here. <laughs> We're looking down from above. Now the last thing that we did in uh, Nova Scotia before flying home was to visit this waterfall. Hopefully you can see the waterfall. Marianne Falls behind us here. The light is kind of too good. You can't make us out too well. The waterfalls you can probably see. But I don't know about us. Now that was all in September of 1993, the Nova Scotia trip. But just a month later, we were able to take a little trip up to New Hampshire and uh, went to Mount Washington and they have this cog railway which takes you up to the top of the mountain. It's an old fashioned steam engine, steam locomotive. October 2nd, 1993. There's no, nowhere to go forward. All set! Oh, now the switch is open to go straight ahead. That's an open switch. Hold on, Bruce. on the mountaintop. And just to remind you, it's only October 2nd. There are little patches of snow up here. Little patches of snow. It's got a tip top house. There she is, Mount Fire. I have got Mount Washington.
down again. There it is, the tip top. There's the station. You can follow the track there as it goes up the mountain. It goes up. You can see it going way up there. And even way up there. there there's a train up there. Let's see it? We were just up there. That was quite a ride. That was quite a ride. And now we move on to 1994. And uh, 93-94 winter was kind of hard. We had quite a bit of snow and we had this nice house up on a kind of a hill with a long driveway that we had to plow or shovel. And uh, we, I think the first couple of years we actually shoveled it with just snow shovels, but we were smart enough to require this snow, sh snow blower. There's Dave, using the new snow blower. He's done this quite a few times this year. A little later, in 1994, we got away from that harsh winter and drove down to Florida. And our first stop in Florida was Daytona Beach. Daytona Beach itself you can drive on the beach. Speed limit 10 miles per hour. Stop. Maybe it's later in the day they don't have anybody in there. So we didn't want to pay the five dollars, so we're not going to drive along the Daytona Beach. <laughs> and in Florida, we did go to Disney World, uh, the Magic Kingdom this time. And uh, here's a little bit of riding over Disney World in the gondola. <laughs> Another ride we took at Disney World was the Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. So we went to Universal Studios while we were in the area, and uh, one of the rides that's uh, no longer there was King Kong. It was quite impressive. Okay, there she goes. And another ride, I'm sure it doesn't exist anymore, was this earthquake ride. And uh, while we were at uh, Universal Studios, they had some, some kind of stage show things, and uh, this was not long after the movie Beetlejuice came out. And we had we still uh, had more to do in 1994. In August of 1994, we drove up to Maine to Mountain Desert Island. Okay, here we are, August 23rd, 1994. We are on the top of a mountain, 
Beach Mountain on Mount Desert Island. Okay, we just finished having lunch, Linda <laughs> and myself, yeah. after climbing way up this arduous climb. And now we're going to go that way and try to find a nice trail that, that we were promised. There are <laughs> some really spectacular views, which I'm going to record. Here we are. We're walking down this thing. Want to see Linda behind me? We're walking down this trail. Shady cool here. Okay, Nagin. <laughs> now, get set for the panoramic view again. Here we go. Going to the right, going to the right. Okay. Here's that. This different harbor. That's the, that's the money one. What is it? North East? North East Harbor for the rich people. And on the other side is. What's it called? Yeah, Southwest. Southwest. That's the fishing village. Fishing village, all those sailboats. And if you keep going, what's this other one? Bass is one. I'm not bass sure. Bass and Bernard, I think. Yeah, Bernard. There's a Bass it. lighthouse somewhere. It's supposed to be a lighthouse down there, but we can't see it. Okay, you, we're on. Okay, here we are at Indian Point. Uh, I don't know the other name, but <laughs> it's pretty nice here. But see, see all the seaweed. Yes. While we're there at the Mount Desert Island, we went to Bar Harbor and they had a place where you could go kayaking. And this is the first time that Linda and I went kayaking together. In recent years, we've been doing a lot of kayaking, but you're going to see the first time that we did it together. <laughs> and we're about to start our kayaking adventure here. Okay, we're on the water. <laughs> As Linda's I'm supposed to turn right. I better put, I want us to go over there, so I better turn this thing off. That's supposed to be a loon? Yeah, yes, that's good. Like, 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 I don't know what schooner that is. I don't think it's a blue nose. Might be, I don't know. There we go, we're paddling back in. Hello, yeah. Mr. Gull. They're coming over, they think we have good. Oh, is that what they're doing? I yeah. think we're gonna feed them. Here we are on the seawall. The natural seawall. There's also a campground that I've stayed at that has a man made one, but. Man made one. It's the natural one. Okay. So is it here? So, <laughs> so we're going, going to Keenan's tonight. Yeah, we're going to have uh, baby back ribs. We're going to have a rack of them. Rack of ribs. Lots of ribs. Ribs. We don't want to dress up tonight, so we're going That's casual. A, okay. Well, I'll just try it as a quick shot. There's a sunset over there. I think the sun might be too bright. Okay. There's a lighthouse. It's really hard to see. Bass Harbor Head is where we are. That's sunset. Who are we? Bass, uh, something. Bass light. Bass Harborhead. Bass Harborhead. It's getting you illuminated by the last rays of the sun. The next day, we went for a little picnic near the water and had a very good view. So I would say that this, we picked a place with a fairly decent view <laughs> to have lunch here. Very wind, a little windy, but look out there. Rocks. Close. He's about two feet away from me. You can really zoom in for a close up. Oh. This side is a little more active right now. Wait up. I mean, a big one's coming then? Probably. Hey, Woo! that's something. Did you get that? Yeah. <laughs> Well, here we are, just next to Thunder Hole, it's right over there, a little disappointing today, not too exciting. Yeah, it wasn't a stormy enough day to, to really shoot up the 
shoot up there, but it's okay. <laughs> well, this is a nice spot. See the rocks behind us? I do a slow pan around here. And we went for another hike, this time to Gorham Mountain. We've climbed another mountain. First, first day we climbed a mountain called Beach. And now this one is Gorham. Gorham, we've conquered it. We are on the summit of Gorham Mountain. <laughs> You're trying to be like Kurt. <laughs> you see the beautiful scenery. Operation Look at that. Of Gorham. <laughs> okay, that's one trail we didn't want to do today. We we're thinking about it. It's called Precipice Trail. It's also called most difficult. The most difficult. And you can see there are people. People on the edge of that cliff there. Okay, one last look at the precipice. This is looking stri almost straight up. There are some people just reaching the top of it there. Ooh. There's also uh, in the park something called the uh, Jordan Pond House which is a nice place to have lunch and have that. I think they were famous for their popovers, but when we went there, I guess they hadn't, didn't have popovers that day. And we're sitting in these two uh, green chairs here on the lawn. No, it's all right. Okay, you're on now. We're on now. We're here, we're here at Jordan Pond House on the lawn. No popovers, but that's okay. We got our lemonade. We got our Snapple got lemonade. Got our lemonade and dinner reservations for later. Fabulous Jordan Pond dining room. Yeah, that's just behind us. You should be able to see it there. Now, the last thing we did on this trip was to go to the top of Cadillac Mountain to watch the sunset. Apparently, that's a tradition there. It was kind of chilly, but we did it. This area, overlook. To overlook, to see the sunset from uh, Cadillac Mountain. We're on Cadillac Mountain. The sun is setting over there. Right here we are. We did it. We're freezing, but we're on top of Cadillac Mountain. A bunch of people think we're crazy, but here we are. Yeah, we saw the sunset. We saw it. It's not much to see, but we did see it. It's getting actually better now. A little more color over there. Color. Okay. Bye. Still in 1994, just a month later in September, we had another little vacation. We went down to Virginia, and that's where and his sister Mary Ellen and her husband Kurt live, lived, and they still live there. And uh, we visited them, and, and one of their favorite places to go in Virginia is Ch Chincoteague and Assateague. Chincoteague, Assateague Island. There we are, this is the beach. Assateague Island. And there's Linda, she's uh, testing the waters. She wants me to come. Let's see, it uh, looks like it's not too cold. Let's try it ourselves. Woo! Woo! That's nice. Hey, like nice. it! Hey, nice like water. it! Linda, like a vampire, and then they are dead. See? They Let's die see. after they. We lost all his feet already. So. Oh, he many feet. he oh, was crawling wow. before. Yeah, Some other bird will eat it. Okay, here we are. We're in uh, on the ocean here. It's uh, Assateague. this Assateague yeah. Island, and it's warm. Oh, we thought it was winter, swim. but it's swim. warm. And maybe we'll go swimming tomorrow if we can make sure. Okay. Okay. There's our shadows. Wave. Another thing that area is, is famous for are the wild ponies. And we uh, got to see them firsthand when we were parked in the parking lot, and here came the wild ponies. Okay, here we are at the information center parking lot, and uh, just about ready to leave, and looks like we've got some company coming right to our car here. Here's the car right here. Ah! We <laughs> wanted to stop them, I guess. Hello, wild ponies. Whoa! Get out of the way. I want to get out of the way. Where are they going to go? These are 
wild ones, huh? I'm not supposed to get close to them because they bite. They're not afraid of people. Are these the tangles? They just come up the paper? Well, there they go. Pass is passing through. One more year left on this uh, edition of my vlog, my 40-year vlog. That year is 1995. The big event for 1995 was the kittens. We uh, got a couple of kittens, I think it was in the summer, in July of 1995. We brought two little kittens home to our home, Timmy and Susie. And here's some, a little video of these two, two sweet little kitty cats. This is Susie. Susie likes to play. Susie! Let's look at Susie's face. Huh? We can. Susie! <laughs> There's a good shot of Timmy. There's a good shot of Timmy face. That's little Timmy. He got such a baby face. Kitty cat. Timmy. Susie, here he comes. He's coming. <laughs> Can you purr too? Can you purr? You wonder what that is, don't you? There's two little kitties. There's two little kitties, their heads together. their favorite place, the perch overlooking the window. <laughs> yeah, they're good buddies. They're good buddies. Yeah, they're good buddies. Yes, they were, oh, they, their names were Timmy and Susie, but Susie, this, this one, later on, we, we changed her name to Boo Boo. We called her Boo Boo, and that, that dear little kitty we had with us for 21 years. Timmy didn't stay with us that long. We have one more, really, there's really only one more part to this series to wrap up the 90s, and that'll be 96 through 1999. And there are some interesting events. In 96, we went to Germany to visit uh, that sister and her husband who had, they went back to Germany for, for a year or two. So we visited them, and we saw a lot of sights in Germany, and we took the train to Austria, to Salzburg, and got some interesting things there. And on the way back, we went to London, and I've got a little video from London. A few years later, 1999, we had a, we had a, a marvelous Alaska cruise. And of course, I got a lot of video from the cruise. And that will really wrap up this 40-year vlog, because after that, I didn't really, I kind of lost interest in video after 1999. And I did a few uh, per, you know, family things, but nothing terribly exciting, until 2012, when I got my first HD camcorder and uh, for our Hawaii trip that we, that, that video is on YouTube of our trip to Hawaii in 2012. And everything since then is pretty much on YouTube. In 2014, I got my first GoPro. So I have a lot of videos for, the, for those activities that, that have gone on since then. And we are planning to go back to Hawaii later this year, hopefully. So that will conclude uh, this episode in my 40-year vlog. Hope you found it interesting. 
and hope you come back and, and watch the next one, the final episode of this adventure. Thank <laughs> you.